hello happy weekend happy weekend anybody there echo happy weekend okay today i just want to talk about um neat blocks a lot of people have asked me about neat blocks hi jenny happy weekend hope you're enjoying your weekend it's cool here it's been raining it's been drizzling not every rain like that but it's cool the weather is cool okay let me just put this on silent and vibration here yeah. okay i will be talking about neat blocks today Need as in N T K N high have a pardon. I just woke up, don't mind me. K N high T blocks. And this type of block is used when you're making garments with um, stretchy fabrics. Hi Flo, happy weekend to you too. How is the weather on your side? Hi Hi everyone. Okay, so I said this type of blocks I used. This is a block, the front block and the back block. I'm sorry, I'm going to be holding my phone. I tried to uh, make it stand on a phone holder, but the angle is not nice. So I will be moving the camera as I talk. Okay, so I don't know if you're seeing it clearly. I've um, traced it. Oh, I didn't pencil out some of them, but you can see some lines. Hey, Jenny! Thanks from joining for joining from Doha. It's nice to have you on here. Okay, so I will say knit blocks are used when you're making garments um, using stretchy fabrics. Fabrics with 100% um, stretch, 50%, even 5%. With 5%, I wouldn't suggest you use um, knit blocks. You can use your basic blocks and just manipulate it a little bit to make it um, figure fitting if that's what you want. But for 100% um, stretch, you should use your knit fabrics. Fabrics with lycra, 100% lycra, you should use your knit blocks. These popular fabrics now, um, scuba and neoprene, sometimes when I'm making garments using any of, the, any of those two fabrics, I use my basic blocks because they are not 100% stretchy. And the, the, the texture, their texture is different from that of Lycra, 100% Lycra fabrics. They, they are a bit thick. In fact, some are so thick that you won't realize um, they are stretchy fabrics. So for those types of fabrics, scuba, neoprene, some of them I use my basic blocks and not knit blocks to make um, garments out of them. But today we'll be talking on knit blocks because a lot of people have asked me this question and I have not had time to talk about it. The method I use in constructing my basic blocks is the same I use in constructing my knit blocks. The only difference is knit blocks do not have darts. If you can see, I'm just going to position this well. There is no bust darts, unlike the basic blocks that you have, bust darts, waist darts, 
um, back shoulder dart and the waist dart at the back. I'm just going to show us what a basic block or what basic blocks look like in a bit. I'm just going to bring back. One minute, I'll be back. I'm sorry, I had to bring, um, I had to go bring my board from the other side so that this will make more sense. Okay, this is what um, basic block or basic blocks look like, if you can see. Basic bodies construction. With basic bodies construction, you have the bust dart, the waist in front, and you have the shoulder dart and the uh, we start at the back. So this is what the basic blocks look like. So we're moving back to her knit block. Okay, so before we go to the knit block, all the vertical constructions, all the horizontal lines are the same with the knit blocks. So you still follow the same process. You don't need the textbook. If you still use textbook to draft your basic block, then while you're doing your need block, you don't need to, you just, you know, use the same method. You don't follow, the only thing you're going to follow are the lines, the vertical lines, and in creating your box, you create your box first, then you mark out your vertical point, draw your horizontal lines, and that's it. So all you have to do now is on your neat block, the front, you still go ahead and do your chest line, your bust line. I'll show you from the back because we do, we draft the um, back first when we're drafting our basic blocks. You draw, mark out your shoulder line like you would do here. Mark the back line, the bust line, the waist line, and the hip line. Also in front, mark your shoulder line because shoulder line in front, the level of shoulder line in front is different from that of the back, right? Mark the base of your neckline. Mark your chest line. Your true bust line as well. Then your lower waist line, like you will do on your basic block. Now you have to put your measurement, your circumferential measurement, that is your bust measurement, your waist measurement and the hip measurement. And this is where dividing those three measurements I just said by four is useful. But again, let's hold on to that but again now. So let's move to this block. That's what I've done here. So I've marked my chest level, my bust, my true bust, I'm just going to write this. Note, this is just an explanation, not a construction class. I'm just explaining to you, especially for those who already know how to draft their basic block, they can just go ahead and use that same method in drafting their knit blocks. You can see I've marked out my back level at the back, the bust line that runs from the back to the front, the waist level and the hip level. The same way I have done on my basic blocks. Okay? Now, on my chest level, I have divided my chest, because I have chest in front, not at the back, so I'm dividing my chest by two. Whatever I have, I'll, I've measured on here. So which is this point? 
right? My boss, because the boss is measured from front to back, you divide by four. Now, this is where we are going to, I'm going to explain a bit more. Remember I just said note. Your bust, you divide by four, right? On the bust line at the back, from the center back, you measure that one over four. The same thing from your center front, on the bust level, you measure one over four, okay? On the waist, divide by four as well. From your CB, measure one over four of your waist measurement. Do the same thing from CF and point it out. At the hip level, also divide by four. Measure one over four from your CB to wherever it stops. Do the same thing from CF to, to wherever it stops. Now connect the bust to the waist. Remember, I told you you can, you, you can do your lower waist. It's not compulsory, but this is how I do mine. From, your, from the bust line, which we call UP in the basic block, underarm point. Connect it to your waist and to the hip. Same thing at the back, right? Mark your two bust level, that's the um, apex, also like you will do in the, um, in the basic blocks. Now, this is the only block you can divide by four and just use the measurement. And this is advisable when you're using 100% Lycra. The reason why we always say you cannot divide your bust, waist, and hip measurement by four and just apply it on, on, your, on your block in creating any pattern is because if you do that, because most of us, we are not equal all round, that is, you can't divide us into four equal halves. No, equal parts. No, you cannot. For some of us, we have wider front than the back. Some people have wider back than front. So you can only divide. You can only divide. Let me, let me move to the basic block. You can only divide um, the front into two and the back into two. For some people, which is very rare, you can actually divide them into four, but that's a very uh, minute um, num number. So when we're talking of average, you can use the smallest part of a uh, smallest proportion of the whole figure to determine whatever you're doing. So we have to work with average, which means for some people, there are most people, their front block is bigger than the back. If you look at these two blocks, I don't know if you can see them properly. I have to tiptoe to raise this eye. This block is almost looking equal. And that's because um, that's um, one in like, let me say one in 70 people. And because we, we have um, bust in front, most times, we have large percentage of people with bigger front than back. Some people have wide back as well. So, and that's the reason you cannot divide a whole human body into four equal parts. It's that you divide the front into two and the back into two. Okay, so let's come back here. So, like I said, when you divide by four, and you apply those measurements on the block like that, it is advisable you use such blocks for 100% Lycra fabric. Fabrics with Lycra, that is, it stretch, the fabric stretches 100%. So you cannot use it for, for like maybe a fabric that stretches like maybe 20 or 30. The reason is the side seam the side seam will not fall. I'm just going to show you what a side seam is on this dress now. Can you see? This is the ammo of this, dress, of this um, garment. This is the side seam. The part where you join the front to the back. That's the side seam. 
If you divide by four, the side seam will not fall where it should fall. Okay? And it won't bring out um, the, the silhouette of the garment. It won't come out nicely. And that's the reason you can't divide by four. And um, like I said, you can only use it for 100% stretchy fabric. Which will, because stretchy fabrics generally have forgiven. You can sew with stretchy fabric and it will conceal all your errors. But here is what you can do. If you're not using 100% lycra like fabric. Now, once you have divided by four, please listen to this carefully, okay? Once you've divided by four, like you're seeing on my blocks now, what you're seeing now is it's been divided by four, and I've applied those figures like that. So now what you can further do is on the bust, because on the upper part of human body, women, we have busts, right? Which makes the, the front portion bigger than the back portion. I'm talking about the bodies now, the upper part of our body, right? If, you, if I measure from here to here, because there is bust in front, the back is flat, the front is going to be bigger than the, than the, um, okay, let me show you on the dress form. Okay, so, yes. So if I take this measurement in front, from here to here, that is from the side seam to the other side seam, the front is going to be bigger than the back, than if I take it from this side seam and to the other side seam on the back. This is because we have bust on the upper part of our body in front. Again, the waist, you can use um, the division of four for your waist measurement. You can leave it as it is, divide by four and apply those, uh, whatever you get on your block. Also, on the lower part, which we have, um, we have um, the, the bomb at the back, the same thing that applies to the upper part where we have the bust will apply to the lower part of the back. So if you measure from the side seam on the lower part where the bomb is to the other side seam, what you have will be more than if you measure from side seam through the front to the other side seam. So we need to make some adjustment at that level. For some people with big tummy, also you would have to make some adjustments at that level. Now, back to our block. Because I said we have a um, bust in front, which means we should give more to the front than to the back. And this is where proportion comes in. Pattern makers, as pattern makers, you, you, you need to know how to work with proportions. Okay, now we have divided by four um, figures right now. So because I just said, from the illustration I just gave now, that the front will be bigger than the back on the bust level. So what you'll do is, you can take from the bust level at the back, let's say um, you can take about 1 cm. So you measure 1 cm in, or 1.5 cm, whichever one you're taking between, see, it comes with practice, and you won't have to do you won't have, have to use the same figure for every human body or woman body. Let's put it that way. It will vary. For some people, you will have to measure one centimeter in. For some people, you have to measure 1.5 centimeters. And that is because um, the bigger the bust, the bigger what you have to take from the back. So it means you're stealing. Sorry, I have to use that word. You're taking from the back and giving it to the front. So, for example, if I'm going to do mine, this is my neat block. Okay, if I'm going to do, now I'm going to measure 1 cm in on the back. 
and come to the front, measure 1 cm out. So that when you measure what we have, you still arrive at the same, um, the same figure for my bust measurement. The only difference is that you've not shared them equally. It is not what you have at the back you're going to have in front, okay? Because I have tummy, uh, protruding tummy, <laughs> I'll take one cm, one cm also in at the waist, on the back, and come to the front, come up by the same amount, one cm, okay? At the hip level also, I will go in by 1.5, that is I'll be taking 1.5 and adding it to the front so I'm going by 1.5 cm and on here I'll come out by 1.5 cm so it's not as if you're take going in by 1.5 cm and you're taking it away mm -mm. what you're taking out in at the back you're adding it to the front this way then you connect you reconnect you reconnect I won't be able to connect now because I'm holding the um, camera the phone so I'll just have to explain and you can just try it out and share um, and share what you've been able to do. Okay, so on the back as well, you connect and you connect. And that's it. When you sew this, you realize the side seam is where it is supposed to be. It won't be too much to the front or too much to the back. So basically, that's it. And also, when you're taking, a lot of people have asked that question as well. When you're taking your measurements, the measurement to be used while you're drafting your knit blocks, use your actual measurement. I'm saying this because it's a block. It, and it's, it's kind of, um, I don't want to use the word basic because basic block is actually different from a knit block. Basic block, like I show, showed you earlier, is the one with the... Um, Dirt. It's your, but I'm going to use the word basic. I can't seem to find another word for basic now. Okay? Because you're going to construct your block once and you start tracing out from it. So if you, if you don't use your actual measurement, a lot of people would say, oh, should I reduce my measurement? You can reduce your measurement when you're ready to design. But when you're creating your first block, which is your basic block for the knit, use your actual measurement. Unlike when we created, when you're creating a basic block like this, we add ease to it. As pattern makers, when we're creating basic blocks patterns, we add ease, we don't make our exact measurement. And this is because when we're designing, you tend to lose some of those measurements. And if you, if you did not have ease when you were constructing them, you're going to be losing your actual measurement. So that is the essence of adding ease to basic blocks. And the ease becomes part of your measurement, not a seam or sewing allowance. Okay? But for basic, for knit blocks, you don't have to add, um, you don't have to add ease because you'll be sewing using stretchy fabrics. And also because sometimes, like I said, when I started this um, video, that um, fabrics such as scuba and neoprene, even though they stretch, some of them are still very thick that you won't even realize they are stretchy. They have um, elastane or some lycra in them, okay? So I will advise you always use your actual measurement. Then whenever you want to design, you want to make a garment and you realize, oh, I want to use 100% stretchy fabric, fabric with 100% um, lycra in them. Then you can come to your block and manipulate, alter your patterns. So for instance, if my, if my uh, bust is 98 centimeters, we work with centimeters, I can reduce it to 95. So if you do 95 divided by four, whatever it gives you, and because you've, you've um, moved in by one centimeter 
at the back you've come out by one centimeter in front the same thing still applies so let's say you you because you want to use 100% um, stretchy fabric um, you want to take out like four centimeters in total on the bust so on half pattern because we're working with half pattern you're taking two centimeters so that two centimeters you just go in more by 0 0.5 at the back and go in by 1.5 in front like that the same thing would apply on the waist and at the hip level so basically that's that and um, also sewing with stretchy fabrics you need to go online go on youtube type in how to sew using stretchy fabric how to sew using knit fabrics there are some materials you need to sew with to make your garment come out very very nice okay you need to know about the needle type you use you need to know about um, the thread you can use you need to know about how to adjust your machine tension when you're sewing i actually have a video on youtube where i did um, a little illustration when i was sewing a stretchy fabric you need to know how to adjust your tension your tension all your tension when you're sewing and uh, most impo importantly the needle type because we have ballpoint needle made for uh, stretchy fabric a lot of people have asked also oh when i'm sewing the thread will be jumping and um, i'll have to use candle uh, some people will say if you use candle some people will say use um, paper put paper on, on it fine it's fine you can use all of those but you have to make sure you're working with the correct needle type i'm not sure if i have that needle here but it's, i'm downstairs but it should be in my machine upstairs okay so yeah basically please check it online also i did a write-up about um types of um, stretchy fabrics uh spandex elastin lycra i'll see if i can find that right up and um, it's actually called from from the internet as well i'll see if i can find the link and i'll share the link below this video i hope you have uh, learned one or two things okay i actually have my book here i should have shown you so this is how you would construct you create a box like you will do in a basic block when you're creating your knit do all this lines and then start putting on your bust line bust divided by four which was what i did bust divided by four you put the bust uh, one over four of it on your bust line from the cf from the cb on your waistline you divide by four whatever you have measure it from the cf and the cb also on the hip line you measure one over four of your hip measurement from the cf and also from the cb your shoulder line all of that will still be the same the only difference is you are not incorporating darts in your constructions okay i'll have to go now Oh, I will respond to your questions. I'm going to read through, then I'll answer. I will respond to your questions. Thank you for joining. And I'm so sorry, I didn't pencil this out before starting the video. I'm really, really sorry. I apologize. But I hope you can see it. And you can even lengthen this to your dress length. See, I'm making a dress. This is my hip level. But can you see the traced line up to my dress length? But once I cut it, I'll still do, I'll see if I can still do a bit of explanation on it. Okay, thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, Hibuku. Thank you for joining. Thank you for thanking me. <laughs> and thanks for joining. Thank you. Bye. Enjoy your weekend.